This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. La Chambre de Commerce et d'Industrie France-Philippines a été créée en 1988. Elle fait partie du réseau CCI France International qui regroupe 115 chambres de commerce et d'industrie dans 85 pays. La CCI France-Philippines est au service des sociétés françaises mais également des sociétés philippines. Notre champ d'action couvre deux volets dont le premier est l'assistance au développement commercial. Le service d'appui aux entreprises a pour mission l'accompagnement des entreprises françaises aux Philippines. Pour ce faire, nous organisons des missions de prospection qui sont soit individuelles, soit collectives, en partenariat avec les CCI d'Asie-Pacifique, CCI de France, mais également nos partenaires institutionnels. J'ai eu la, la chance de lancer l'entreprise Decathlon en étant hébergé à la, à la Chambre de Commerce des Philippines. Et bah, quand on intègre un pays où les procédures euh, sont compliquées et longues, bah, bénéficier euh, des services de la Chambre de Commerce, rien que pour la domiciliation de, de l'entreprise, puis tout le, le réseau, on travaille en plus dans un environnement euh, très sympathique. On, toutes les, nos besoins, en tout cas en termes d'Internet, de, de services annexes, sont, euh, sont fournis. Euh, donc je ne peux que louer l'apport de la Chambre de Commerce dans la création en tout cas de, de, de des et des entreprises. The representative office of Group 7 in the Philippines has been housed in the French Chamber for quite a number of years and we are glad that we are continuing this relationship with them. The best thing about being part of the French Chamber is that it really fosters an environment where we are excited to work because the staff are young, they're creative, they're always happy and inspired to be here so that really makes our job easier. Notre deuxième... Good evening, folks, and welcome to Global Village. I'm Buddy Kunanan. Now, you know, in this program, folks, we go to interesting places, we meet interesting people. We also talk about issues and topics that uh, impact the global community. Now, tonight, it's all about friendship, the Philippines' friendship with France, and uh, specifically, how the French Chamber of Commerce in the Philippines and its partners here is helping promote trade and investment and carrying out some very impactful, very wonderful corporate social responsibility projects that are benefit, benefiting a lot of communities. And joining me on the show is a special guest, and she is the Managing Director of the French Chamber of Commerce and Industry in the Philippines, Vanessa Hans. Vanessa, welcome to Global Village. Thank you very much, buddy. Thank you. Good evening. Now, I have to congratulate you on that nice AVP that we, first, that we showed before we came on. Um, and it gave us a little idea of what the, that, what the French Chamber does in the Philippines. Now, but if you were, before, before we jump into that, let's talk about you. Tell us about Vanessa Hans. I understand that you are part Filipino. Yes, I'm actually French Filipina, so uh, I, I guess working at the French Chamber makes sense because you're basically in between uh, both sides. So helping promote uh, both Philippine companies in France, but also French companies here in the Philippines. And, uh, and that's, why, uh, that's why I decided to join and I've been with them like, for four years now and, uh, and we've been working on several projects. Uh, as mentioned, uh, we will also talk later about one of our CSR projects. So uh, this is what we've been doing and, uh, and we're very glad to be here uh, tonight. Now, interesting because um, your, your, fund, your, your organization, the French Chamber, is, what, is this what brought you to the Philippines to begin with? Uh, no, I guess just an interest. Uh, when, you're, when you're half Filipina, basically, you, you, I didn't have the chance to grow up here, so I never really lived here full time. So what brought you here? Uh, just uh, an interest for the Philippines and to stay here a bit longer than just for holidays and visiting the family. So I wasn't expecting to stay that long, but I'm still here after five years. So a lot of interesting projects, a lot of things to do, uh, and it's, uh, it's good for business. We see a lot of people coming in as well, so, uh, so that's why I'm still here. Excellent. Okay, let's talk about the French Chamber. W what is the mission and vision of, of your organization? 
Well, basically, uh, we're a, a bridge to two networks, so the French community, business community, and the Philippine business community. What we aim to do is really to strengthen that relationship. Um, so it's, uh, again, both going towards France, but also coming here in the Philippines. Really, our aim is to bring in more companies here uh, to promote. Uh, we work a lot with different government agencies here in the Philippines, promoting the Philippines as an investment destination. Uh, we go to France also a lot to promote because obviously we're, we're a faraway country for a lot of SMEs, a lot of multinationals. So we do um, do a lot of talks, uh, seminars, uh, talking about the Philippines and why they should come over. Uh, we also help the other way. So basically, when we see uh, when we see Philippine companies who are interested in Europe, because France, I mean, obviously it's part of the European market, so it usually has a bigger bigger impact for Philippine companies going that way. So we also help them, assist them, and facilitate those transactions. Okay, when, when you say you help them, what are the specific? What are some of the specific um, services that you offer? So what we do is obviously we start with market information. Yeah. So uh, we have a team that is dedicated to that, trade promotion. So we give them market information about the different segments they're interested in, uh, main key figures, and then we uh, facilitate basically the business matching. So we find the right partners for them. Uh, it doesn't always make sense for a company to set up in a country. So if they do decide not to set up, uh, we find the right partners here and we right find the right, uh, the right people for them to work with. And you know, that, that, that's such an important thing in business, no? And to have an entity here that looks out, for, uh, looks out for the welfare for both, you know, French companies and Filipino companies putting them together, you know, is, is actually a very, uh, you know, it's a, it's a useful service to have. And, you know, as a, as a businessman myself, I think that this is an invaluable, really, tool that you guys are providing for French companies. Now, um, I understand that the French Chamber has been here, it's not a new organization, it's been here for, for quite a while, and you're celebrating a very important, auspicious anniversary next year. Yes, we're celebrating our 30th anniversary. So uh, the French Chamber has been founded in 1988. Uh, we had uh, French businesses here before that, but we had an interesting group of people who decided to set that up back in the days, and we're very happy to celebrate our anniversary next year. Uh, it's also showing basically the sustainability of, of business here. And uh, at first, when, when they set it up, a lot of people were saying, maybe it's, it's not going to be sustainable. And here we are. Uh, we, have, uh, we have more and more companies coming in, more and more members, because we're a membership-based organization. And, uh, and this, is, uh, this has been quite exciting. We're very excited for next year for our anniversary. How many, how many members does the French Chamber have? So we have 140 members. We have um, about 80 of those members are French companies, uh, and the rest of them are Philippine companies or also other other nationalities. Okay. Um, so uh, the, the ones that are not French, uh, yes. the Philippine companies are usually uh, partners of French companies or interested in the French market, and then the other ones just uh, supply services through to the French and the Philippine companies. Yes, and. Um, is the chamber growing? Um, because you said, okay, obviously sustainable. It's been around for 29 years. But traditionally, the Philippines really hasn't been on, on, on the radar screen of France. Now, because France's attention in Southeast Asia for a long time, traditionally, historically, has been in its uh, well, former possessions, let's put it that way, in Indochina. Talking about uh, Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam. Yes, and Vietnam. Uh, that's true. So uh, that's why it is very important for us to work with the government agencies here to promote the Philippines as a country uh, for, for not just tourism, because that's, I guess, uh, the, the side that people see more often, yes. but as a country for investment. Uh, so it has been growing also because people do realize that there is a market here. Yes. Um, French companies are usually quite shy when it comes to export. Uh, if you look at our neighbors, like countries like Germany, um, they're way more efficient than we are. Uh, I Germans. shouldn't be saying that, but you know, <laughs> uh, they are. Um, and uh, if you look at the trade figures, definitely we have still a long way to go and we still need to catch up on that. Uh, so I guess that's why they're also going to markets that are more familiar to them. Okay. And the Philippines is definitely not something that is very familiar. Um, and the language also. I yeah. mean, English is definitely a selling point for the Philippines as a market, but for French people, not necessarily. And it's a big market when you consider we're almost 110 million people, right? Yes, it so is. So compared is. to Cambodia, which is mm. what, maybe, maybe not 10, 12 million? No, it is. But right. I, think, I think the lack of awareness there that there is go. 100 million uh, you know, inhabitants and potential of consumers here is, yeah. is something that we need to, uh, to address. Now, how do you promote 
the Philippines, because you're based here, the Chamber is based here, how do you promote it with companies in France? Do you have partners in France and Paris as well to, to, to help yes. you out? Yes, we do. So we're part of the CCI France International Network. So that's a network of 115 French chambers around the world. So what we do is that we work locally. So we work with the Asia Pacific chambers. So all of the French chambers around. So we do promote jointly our own countries. So we do a lot of Southeast Asia missions where we bring in companies from France to Southeast Asia. Uh, for us, it's a good way to promote ourselves because, again, a lot of companies would go to Vietnam, but not necessarily to the Philippines. So if we promote it jointly, then it gives them the opportunity to expand and visit. Yes. Um, in France, in the regions, uh, we also have partners. So we do have partnerships with several French regions, and, uh, and we have basically multipliers there who would help us promote. But that means also that we have to go very often to France and make sure that we're, uh, that we're known and that people see us Is there. that part of your job in the chamber? Does yes, it, uh, absolutely. You, do you guys yeah. go to France a lot and, yes. and push really the, the agenda here? Yes, we do. Uh, so uh, I'm actually, as a matter of fact, I'm going, I'm going next month. So we have a couple of activities lined up. We also work with, uh, with the Philippine Embassy in France. Uh, so we do things with them as well because they have an office there. They have a team there. Uh, so the, we work with them. How is the promotion of the, of the Philippines in France, the corporate, to the corporate entities in France, how is it being received? I mean, is there a lot of enthusiasm about this country? Is there a lot of um, A lot of questions, okay, I good. would say. Good. Um, obviously, a lot of questions because, again, it is not a f market that is familiar to, to companies, yeah. be it multinationals or SMEs. So a lot of questions. Um, usually, they're very surprised by our answers. Uh, again, we're sticking to the facts and we're not trying to oversell. What are these questions that you're surprised that the answer well, surprised you? First off, they don't know that there's 100 million people in the Philippines. <laughs> okay. um, they also don't know that English is an official language okay. in the Philippines. So uh, as basic as Very that. basic, very, okay. very okay. basic. Um, and then also the different, uh, you know, key sectors here. They're not necessarily familiar with the fact that, uh, that you know, we have the BPOs here, but we also have a lot of projects in, uh, in infrastructure development. We yes. have a lot of uh, projects in sustainable I mean renewable energy so those are things where friends we have an expertise in that and then uh, so when we tell them about all the projects that are happening they're they're very curious now how can we sell the Philippines better to to French companies what would what do you think is keeping us from from really just going the next level uh, I think the the major issue is there is just the lack of awareness so really meeting those companies uh, you know, and, and going on, on different, like using different platforms for promotion. Uh, I know that the Philippine government is very active in that. So we've seen support, uh, you know, like from, from, we work a lot, obviously, with, with DTI, but also the Board of Investment, PESA. Those are agencies we regularly work with, and they're very active in promoting the country. But um, we all have our limitations and, you know, and limited resources. There are so many countries to cover around the world, so it's not necessarily always a priority, but we've seen increasing numbers in terms of investment but also in terms of companies actually coming here yes. so it means that all of the effort put together is definitely helping let's talk about French business exposure in the Philippines where are these what areas really at present is France or you know French corporate the French corporate side really involved in here in the Philippines in a big way so here uh, we have a lot of infrastructure projects, obviously. Uh, I mean, it's part of the current plan of the government, but it has been also in the past. So we have a lot of companies that are uh, involved in that. We have companies involved uh, in the airports, in constructing uh, the different highways here, in uh, the, the LRT. Uh, we have a lot of companies there uh, that, are that have been working for the past few years and new ones that are coming in. Uh, also in energy, so we have a couple of companies who are in the field of energy, uh, be, in, be it the more traditional side of energy, but also uh, renewable energies. Uh, I mean, obviously, energy is a big uh, is a big question mark yes. here in the Philippines. It's, uh, we have to be uh, self-sufficient in terms of energy supplies. So a lot of companies, French companies, have taken this as an opportunity to bring their expertise in. W would you say that the exchange at present uh, between, let's say, trade and investments between the Philippines and France is really still very much one-sided? No? It's the French companies coming to the Philippines. Yes. Um, Definitely. However, uh, the EU has granted the GSP plus status to the Philippines. So that means that uh, you can 
yeah, there's more than 7,000 uh, products that are listed under that scheme and that can enter the European market. Mm, so yeah, not just yeah. France, but the European market um, free of import duties. So okay. uh, really? we've been we've been also trying to help in promoting that. The EU is promoting that, but a lot of people are not aware of yeah. it. I mean, um, j just 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 off the offhand, um, what kind of products are we looking at? What are the most common products that mostly are on this list? On that mostly that agriculture, list? agriculture products. So uh, a lot of demand in Europe actually for everything related to coconut products. Okay. So virgin okay. coconut oil. Cocoa sugar. Cocoa sugar. Um, Very a lot, these a lot. Days. Uh, pineapple as well. Uh, mangoes. You know, uh, there's a big demand for exotic products. Uh, uh, so they call them in in Europe, and uh, and that has been something that has been uh, increasing. What about French consumer products coming to the Philippines? What is of course the wine and the cheese is what I buy the most of. That, yeah. that you guys in France make. Well, we have a lot of other things. <laughs> um, obviously, I uh, just mentioned the most famous. <laughs> yeah, the, the most, most famous, and then yeah. fashion, I guess. But uh, no, there are a lot of consumer goods coming in here. Uh, there are actually a lot of companies, French companies, that set up um, manufacturing plants in the Philippines. So we also have that that uh, that we see that are manufactured here, especially in electronics. Okay. So we do have companies that uh, that have set up here. It all goes out again uh, export, but uh, we have. A lot of things, I mean, obviously, I cannot list you down all of the products that are here, but in your everyday life, there are a lot of French products. Let's talk about entrepreneurs, okay? Because your chamber only, doesn't only cater to the corporates, right? You also have a lot of entrepreneur participation. Yes, we do. So, uh, actually, the network here is really, really influenced by the entrepreneurs. Uh, it has been founded, the chamber has been founded by entrepreneurs. By these uh, independent businessmen who came yes, here Yes, who came here. Uh, so back then it wasn't really about the multinationals. I mean, they set up here, set up their own business. So we have that uh, entrepreneurial spirit uh, in our DNA. Very good. And, uh, and right now we're also seeing it with other initiatives. I mean, there's the French Tech Philippines. So that's about the startups. Because obviously uh, we also, we're not just about the traditional business, right? We also have to be uh, in line with our time. So we're also, we're also involved in that um, in promoting again the country uh, to other lines of business so it, it's interesting the the activities of the French Chamber have actually are not only limited to the business side but also as you mentioned you, you mentioned the promotion of uh, French startups I understand you also do some cultural events and also yes. uh, which we'll talk about soon in, the, in a few minutes we'll talk about uh, corporate social responsibility Yes, so we're involved in a lot of different aspects because um, we're also here to promote France as a country and not just the business side of it. So we do organize a lot of events. Actually, the biggest French event in the country is organized by the French Chamber. It's our Soiree Beaujolais, which happens every year in November. We get about 1,500 people. So for that, we fly in all the wine from France, all the cheese, because again, people are expecting, are expecting course, that. Course, so I hope you can join us. Would not um, miss it for the world. And, and uh, so, so yeah, basically, uh, this is what we do as well because uh, we're here to promote everything about the French lifestyle. We do work also with the embassy, of course, because this is part of what they do. And of course, I think one of your strategic partners is Alliance Francaise. Yes, of course, of and course. So I, I guess you would, you would, the French community here, we have a not so sizable French community compared to what you would have in Vietnam or Cambodia, but I think you have a good synergy between you know, you guys in the private sector, of course, the uh, quasi-government Alliance Francaise, and of course, the embassy, working together to push, yes. you know, uh, just promote France and awareness. So, it, it definitely, I mean, the fact that we're maybe a smaller market right now uh, also enables us to do more things together, um, and, and, you know, a lot of initiatives that we can still push for, and a lot of things that are still to be done. So, uh, we are lucky enough to be able to work with, uh, with all of the different partners here, and there are also other organizations, you know, local organizations, organizations here to promote the, the France-Philippines friendship. And actually this year is the 70th anniversary of the, of the diplomatic Next relations. Next year? This year. Oh, this year, okay. 2017. Okay. So uh, it was, uh, we had a couple of celebrations lined up. Uh, we still have a few events throughout the end of the year as well. Anything special for next year, for your 30th anniversary of the French Chamber? Well, for next year, uh, we have a couple of delegations coming in. So we'll, we're lucky enough to have uh, all of the chambers, French chambers from Southeast Asia, and uh, actually the entire Pacific region. We'll be coming, and to, we'll Manila be coming to Manila next wow. year. Uh, and uh, also a couple of delegations uh, coming from France. 
all the way here, uh, mostly in the uh, digital space, so that, that specific Bravo. industry. And then, of course, a, a gala to celebrate. <laughs> and I, and I think it would be a wonderful opportunity when you get all these stakeholders of yours in the Asia-Pacific region to come here to really show them what we can offer in the Philippines. As you said, it's all about being connected. It's about network. And you guys are part of a worldwide network. But to have all of those guys come here to the Philippines and see what you guys are doing, I think it's an excellent thing. Okay, Vanessa, we have pause for a break. When we come back, uh, we'll be joined by your corporate social responsibility partner, which is the Fran France-Philippines United Action Foundation. So guys, stick around because more of Philippines-France friendship when Global Village returns.